everybody. How are you doing? I just got my hair done, but I needed to let y'all know something very, very, very important. I need y'all to keep your eyes on your money um, the next couple of weeks. Um, this is very essential. I'm coming on for this financial thing. Uh, just to inform y'all, I know a lot of people don't care, but I want to let y'all know that this is the AARP Bulletin and how they're changing. And in case you do not know some of the things that they're changing before your very eyes right now, things are changing, okay? I was going to come on this morning, but I went to the hairdresser because I needed to get my hair done. So, um, you know, I got edges. Let me see. I don't want to mess up my hair, but, you know, I got edges and all that kind of stuff. So I just had to show people um, I do have real hair. You know, this is mine. All mine. All mine. All mine. Okay, but let's get serious. Okay, good morning, Tiffany and Sweet Lady E. Y'all come in and hit my like button. I'm going to give y'all some tea. I also want y'all to take your phones if you can and take a picture of what I'm about to show you, but I need y'all to listen to this, and this is really, really important. Now, I'm going to play it more than once um, on this video, but I want you to pay attention, okay? What we have learned is that the IRS, in fact, has been using AI to access bank accounts of American citizens without any kind of a search warrant or even without any specific claim that they have committed a crime. So this was something that was uh, discovered by, uh, by an undercover journalist. And what they found is that the IRS has claimed that they have access to every single person's bank account. This person also indicated that they've been working with the Department of Justice and that they have absolutely no problem whatsoever going after the little guy to make sure that they are paying their taxes. What we have learned is that the IRS, in fact, has been using AI to access bank accounts of American citizens without any kind of a search warrant or even without any specific claim that they have committed a crime. So this was something that was uh, discovered by, uh, by an undercover journalist. And what they found is that the IRS has claimed that they have access to every single person's bank account. This person also indicated that they've been working with the Department of Justice and that they have absolutely no problem whatsoever going after the little guy to make sure that they are paying their taxes. What we have learned is... Did y'all hear that? The federal government know that they have access to everyone's checking account. The, the IRA, the IRS, I mean, been checking people's bank checking account. And it, let me tell you why I'm bringing it to your attention. It's been all over the news. People been getting money taken out of their checking account that they didn't authorize. You don't know what's going on, but now if you're the little guy, now I'm going to say what the little guy could be. If you're under $400,000 a year, you're a little guy. They're looking into your bank account, but let me tell you who they didn't, and this just didn't start. How come they didn't have Donald Trump's information from the IRS? They did. They didn't go after a billionaire. He is not a billionaire, okay? He never was, okay? But anyway, why they didn't go after him? Why is it taking so long when in New York, um, they put a $474 million judgment against him and he couldn't pay it? They reduced it for him. I told you months, I told you years ago, start putting cash in your home, Start putting fives, tens, and ones. I'm not telling y'all this because I don't do it. I keep cash on hand, okay? It's very important that you know this. Now, let me tell you what they're getting ready to do now. They're getting ready to take out all the self-checkouts out of Walmart. <clears throat> Why? Because so many people have been complaining and the capabilities of those self-checkout machines. Let me tell you what they can do. You ring out all your food. You have a credit card in your purse, but you want to use the credit card that's in your hand. It will already charge your credit card. It will already take your money from the credit card that's in your purse and not the one. So it's not reading 
your card that's in front of the machine in front of your hand is reading other cards. It has the capability of transferring from that chip that is in these cards. I told you to be wise. When you go out, you might have 50 credit cards. Take one when you're going into shopping stores, grocery stores, take one card. Even if you have to leave the rest of them in your in your car somewhere, do not take multiple credit cards inside of your store. It is transmitting your money from your credit cards and you don't even know. You're thinking that you're using your Bank of America card in your hand and has already charged the credit card in your purse or your pockets, okay? I'm telling you guys, if you own homes, you need to start putting them in a trust. Now, I'm going to tell you um, what goes in a trust and what don't. So I need y'all to listen to this video. I get excited because y'all know I'm a numbers girl. I'd rather be talking about how to transform people into not just millionaires, but into managing the money that you have. You don't have to be a millionaire to have more things, okay? I'm going to tell you this. Okay, I got that. I'm going to show that. Hold on. What should you put in your trust and what should you keep out of your trust? Here's what goes in. Real estate, financial accounts, life insurance, all your personal property, mineral rights, your business, LLCs, partnerships. These do not go in your trust. Retirement accounts, probably your vehicles. All the things that are going in your trust are either going to be titled in the name of the trust or you're going to name the account or the policy the beneficiary of your trust. You could also be assigning something to your trust, like your LLC. The way you do these things differ from state to state, so see somebody like me. If you want my newsletter, click on my picture and go to my link tree. What should you put in your trust Listen. and what should you keep out of your trust? Here's what goes in. Real estate, financial accounts, life insurance, all your personal property, mineral rights, your business, LLCs, partnerships. These do not go in your trust. Retirement accounts, probably your vehicles. All the things that are going in your trust are either going to be titled in the name of the trust or you're going to name the account or the policy the beneficiary of your trust. You could also be assigning something to your trust, like your LLC. The way you do these things differ from state to state. So see somebody like me. If you want my... I'm going to tell you, be wise what you put in your trust. Now, I told everybody, you might have a job. You do not have to have money going to your 401k. You don't. If you're going to move your 401k, make sure it's in an insurance. Once it's in an insurance, you can use it at your availability. Your 401k, if you don't make sure that you got a beneficiary on it, when you die, you won't know what they're doing with it. You have to make sure. I have been rolling over some of the money in my um, in, in my 401k for years into I, IULs. I, I don't want anybody to control my money. And then when I die, they don't want to give it to my children. They don't want to give it to my family. Um, I'm, I have accounts. I, yeah, listen, I don't mind even showing y'all. I have accounts that I keep large amounts of money in my account in my bank, but I have them in money markets. That means I put time limits on it when I can spend it. I got over $200,000 in my checking account, but I got a hold on it until January 4th of every year. Every year, if I don't go in there and use my money, it renews itself and I get interest. I get interest on the money that I left in my checking account and that I do not use. It's in a money market and I just put a lockdown on it. I put, you got a home Listen, you said, I don't make enough money to have money in a trust. I don't make enough money. Trusts are not expensive if you think. Okay, a good, good trust is $3,000. But there are templates right online. When you go pull the template, get three copies. Get a copy that you're going to start filling out things. You can go to your bank and ask that I fill out this form right. You, then you take it and you fill it out right and take it down to the city. Your trust must go down to the city where you live. And I'm going to tell you why. Because you got to register that trust. 
y'all, we're going to start working on, on trust again because we, IG, they say it's more little people than trying to deal with the millionaires. And it is, you know, um, I'm going to tell you, every time I file my taxes quarterly, I have to pay when I file my taxes. I know that quarterly when I file my taxes, I need to give them a check. Now, I don't have to do it quarterly. I can do it once a year like everybody else. But quarterly is the best for me because I'm a payer. And when I'm paying, I'm paying little bits at a time. I could be paying $16,000 this time. 17,000 the next time, 6,000, you know, maybe my third quarter, my fourth quarter, you know, I might break even because if the IRS tells me that I owe them 16,000, I try to give them 20,000. Why? It's because I'm keeping money in the hole in case I can't pay um, the full amount. And I have different streams of income and I want to make sure that Proper taxes are being taken out while I am, found, you know, running these businesses. I got a brother who it's his business, but I invest in his business of flipping homes, right? So say we bought a home for $250,000 and I put $60,000 in that investment, okay? I'm going to make my $60,000 back and it depends on what the home sold for. Then I get that extra money, that extra money I get, I have to pay taxes on that, okay? I have to pay taxes. It's no, I've been heading home. I will be back in the chat in 20 minutes. Okay, How? Are, oh, let me say hello to y'all. Hey, Monica, Red Lipstick Lily, mm -hmm. Sweet Lady Eats. I'm going to check your DM right now on Cam Big Sis. Good all day. Listen, we got to, we gonna, we gonna, you know what? I promise you. Um, Tim is very sick. That's why I didn't come on last night. My husband is still not feeling well. I've been on the um, phone with the doctors and the nurses every, today, and we are trying something new today, and he is not far from me. He is sitting inside of his office. I mean, he's sitting inside the den while I'm in my office, okay? Uh, we're going to have to go over trust again because I had so many DMs to say, you know, you got money. That's why you got to trust. A will can go into probate. You want to look at trust. And I told you the different um, types of trust. Go back and look at that video or I don't mind going over it again. I don't care if you call me through my DMs and you want me to explain it to you again. Because now y'all got to understand what happens with Social Security. A lot of people do not know how Social Security work. And I want to tell you in a quick five seconds, I thank y'all for being here for me. I really do. And my mind is over there with my husband, but I'm here with y'all right now because I just, being a caretaker, y'all, is a job, okay? But you know what? I am so in love with that man. You know what I am, I am. So let me show y'all this. Take a picture of this, please. This is how Social Security works, okay? You have a retirement pension. Years of work. During your working years, you contribute 6.2 of your income up to the limit to Social Security. Now, that 6.2, that ain't good no more. That's not good no more, okay? Okay. I want you to know that your Social Security money is being used. It's being used because that's how they traffic money, but they know that they don't have to give it to you until you're what? I'm sick of people telling me 62. You can use your money. I don't put my hair the wrong way. Lord have mercy. Wait a minute, y'all, because I can't. That's why I keep my hair braided. I promise you, y'all, I don't like my hair, and that's why I keep it braided. I keep it braided, okay? I'm gonna, let me get it out of my face a little bit. Okay, one minute. I'm just for a little bit. It's going to be. It's gonna look like this, but it's distracting me. Everybody, if you have Social Security, get your money at 62. You're going to get less, but at 67, 
you're going to be, you, they just going to add on what they did not pay you. And I'm going to show you in documentation. I'm going to show you. But I'm going to explain this social security to you right quick. And I want y'all to take a picture of this. So because the interest rate have went up, that's 6.2%, they have taken more out of your pay. Between the ages, your draw period, between the ages of 62, now if it was 67, they would not have 62 up here. 62 and 70, you can decide to begin taking your payments starting at 62 years old. Okay, your benefit period, you will receive a monthly payment until you die. Okay, so other details. Your monthly payment is inflation adjusted. This is what I'm telling you. It's inflation adjusted. So when this came out a couple of years ago, it was 6.2%. Today is 7.5%. Your monthly payments is inflation adjusted each year. The max monthly the max monthly payment right now is $4,873. Social Security also provides benefits and disabled people and surviving spouses and children of deceased workers. Now, in order for your children to get your Social Security, guess what? Your children got to be under the age of 18 and have to be in school. If your children are not in school, they don't get you your social security. So this is what Tim and I have done. We have partial custody of our grandchildren for the sole purpose, for the sole purpose that if I die, they're going to get my social security. I share joint custody with my children of their kids, not for any other reason to make sure that when I pass or Tim pass, our grandchildren will get the money, okay? Like, I, 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 I'm I, telling y'all, I just had to have the legal documentation. We went down to the courthouse, and my daughter gave me half, half custody with no disputes, okay? Um... The last thing up here, your payment is determined by your 35th highest earning. So you know how most people are retiring at 20 years? They are maximizing that you work 35 years. This is what they're saying. 35 years. That's what they're looking at for you to be able to get um, your $4,877, your $4,873 I mean, a month, you have to be working 35 years. Or the smart thing you can do is add extra money to your Social Security. You can add money. You can say, I want extra money going into my Social Security. But if I was everyone, and I'm going to tell you, People don't make it to 35 years of work, okay? They don't make it. And some people don't make it to 65 and 67. What I have done is if I come incapacitated and I cannot make my own decisions, I have made decisions for me and Tim that will stand, that nobody can change it. If I, I, I've already said, if I have to go in a nursing home, I want my house sold. But I have my real estate, my house in Florida, under my trust. That means the state can't say your mom and dad is over here in our nursing home and we want you to sell their houses to make the payments. No. They will only get the payments of my Social Security. That's it. You have to cover your legacy. Even if you die, you have to make sure that this is what you wanted to get. I have, believe me, I want to put this back up here. Y'all take a picture of it. Um, take a picture of this. How Social Security works, retirement pension. 
I want y'all, I mean, I don't know how to share it to y'all. Um, it says, do you know that if you're contributing to Social Security, you are entitled to a monthly payment in retirement for life? I'm going to ignore any speculations to whether Social Security will continue to exist in its current form because this post is more focused on mechanisms of the program, not the politics of what it may look like. It becomes a bit trendy to complain about Social Security, usually something along the lines. I'm going to tell you that Donald Trump now, um, what you got in Social Security, you will get paid. They're just not going to take what you've earned. But he don't want no more Social Security collected. It's not going to affect me at turning 59 this year, but it will affect my grandchildren that they, they don't have some type of long-term saving set up, but I am teaching my children now. Additionally, Social Security essentially an annuity helps you protect against longevity risk. A lot of retirement savings projections plan for living 30 years or less in retirement. 30 years. Okay. While there will be case a, a case by case basis for most of us, some will retire at 60 and live another 40 years. Some you have to take care of yourself. Okay. We're going we're gonna to talk more about that. Look, y'all, I'm, I'm good at um, somebody sent me something. Wait a minute. Let me go into this right quick. Um, I think, I think she sent it. Were you shocked? To Wait a minute. I think she sent it here. Um, did you send it in my phone messages? Um, did you send it in my DM? Sweet lady. Question, is it 35 years in the workforce or 35 years at the same job? You don't have to be in the, at the same job. You can be in the workforce. You can start a business of your own and your business can, is counted as you working. Um, that's what you can do. Um, thumbs up, y'all. Thumbs up the live. Okay, let me get to this other thing. I'm looking for that sweet lady eats. Um, I'm looking for what you sent me. Send it in my DM. So you've been working since you're 16. Have they been collecting taxes? Um, FICA from you since 16. Have they been collecting money from your paycheck since you've been 16 years old? Some people up here have worked since they, um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dion. Um, let me see. Hey, wait a minute. Um, I'm trying to find what she sent me. All right, let me get back in here. I can't find that. Um, Y'all, wealth is not just money. Wealth is health. If you're not healthy, you can't obtain being wealthy because what's the word? You a millionaire and you're sick. So please, um, I want y'all to copy this. Take a picture on my phone. Okay. Or I'll get it. Y'all, please take a picture of this because your body heals itself. I need y'all to know that your body heals itself. And I'm going to tell you. Here you go. So aloe vera helps with your skin healing, digestive aid, protection, luck. And, and I'm not focusing on the magical properties, but the medicinal properties I'm focusing on. Basil, it helps with anti-inflammatory um, digestive aid, bay leaf. Add some of these things to your dinner, okay? Um, blackberry, which I make sure my husband gets that. Borge, it helps with diuretics. Catnip, um, uh, sedative, di digestive. And y'all, I keep my catnip. Um, let me see. I had it in here. I have catnip right here. You see that? When I can't sleep at night, y'all, when my husband needs to rest, is a sedative and it's for your digestive cinnamon. Y'all get cinnamon, some cloves, some coffee. Y'all know I like is a stimulant for me. 
um, Comfrey, a wound Hilder, okay, dill, fennel, garlic, ginger, jasmine, lavender, lemon, mar margarine, um, mugwort, oregano, pepper, peppermint. When I have a headache, I take peppermint and I put it on the temples of my head. I put peppermint up there. Um, sage, thyme, witch hazel, valerian. Y'all, please, this is a herbal shop. And this shop, it just tells you, listen, aloe vera is bitter. I bought it in liquid form and hated it. But you know what you do? Add it to like lemonade. Add the aloe vera to lemonade. Add it to your coffee. Um, add it to something sweet that is, that is acidic, um, like lemonade. Limeade, um, I don't know what you drink in the summertime, but anything that got a twangy taste to it, add the aloe vera to it, okay? Um, everybody hit the like button, y'all, because I am going to come back with some mess now. I'm coming back with the fact that, um, hey, girl, hey, girl, 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 um, I'm coming back with some mess because we're going to talk about winter's three interviews, and we're going to talk about um, Fallon Pina said that if she see um, Portia, it's going to be on site. What? Portia cornbread fed. I don't know what Fallon think that she can do with Portia. Look at me. Look at my hair, y'all. I know I'm looking crazy. That's why I don't, I don't like to wear my hair down. Um, let me get to this next thing with this financial. Oh, it's in my messages. Let me look at my messages. Okay. Here's another scam. That sweet lady then share it with us. Y'all, please, when you go to the grocery store, please make sure that you check your receipt. You would not believe what just happened to me. So I went to a local Aldi here in St. Louis, Missouri. I already called the hotline because of what just happened. But, oh, my God, I can't believe that he just tried to steal money from me. So I only had three items. It's bad enough that the inflation is what it is. The three items came up to a total of $19.96. I used my cash app card because it gave me immediate re re alerts. And I did tap to pay, right? When I hit the tap to pay and the screen came up to ask me if I want to cash back, he hit a button on his side, the cashier, and it went away. And guess what happened? The payment didn't go through because he he he, su he submitted for me to give them $100 in cash back that I didn't have. So here I am thinking, like, why my car get declined for $19 when I set a budget? Because I that's why that's what you, you do with cash. Because of many, y'all, please, when you go to the grocery store, please make sure that you check your receipt. You would not believe what just happened to me. So I went to a local Aldi here in St. Louis, Missouri. I already called the hotline because of what just happened. But, oh, my God, I can't believe that he just tried to steal money from me. So I only had three items. It's bad enough that the inflation is what it is. The three items came up to a total of $19.96. I used my cash app card because it gave me immediate re re uh, alerts, and I did tap to pay, right? When I hit the tap to pay and the screen came up to ask me if I want to cash back, he hit a button on his side, the cashier, and it went away. And guess what happened? The payment didn't go through because he, 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 su he submitted for me to give them $100 in cash back that I didn't have. So here I am thinking, like, why my car get declined for $19 when I set a budget? Because that's why that's what you, you do with cash. If you set a budget, make sure you don't go over it, right? So I said, well, set my stuff to the side. I got a fraud alert. He looking a little nervous, right? So I go over to the side, and I look at my cash app, and I'm trying to dive into what just happened. And I'm seeing exactly this. It says, not enough cash for a hundred. 
and nineteen dollars and sixty four cent. So I went back up to him and I said, so you tried to charge me one hundred and nineteen dollars and sixty four cent. He said, no. Uh -uh. Oh, so you tried to get cash back of a hundred and it was two people ahead of me and it was a black lady. And she said he's when she left, he said, I guess she doesn't want her cash back and put the money to the side. So please, please be careful when you out here shopping. This is not on Aldi. This is on this worker here, this white guy named Corey, who is trying to steal money. He is stealing money from people using the cash back system. Please be aware of the scams that are going on in this world. And I know that this happened to me on purpose because God knows I use my platform for everything. I make a video about me going to go to the doggone uh, 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 tree. So God is doing, he did this on purpose. Please be watchful. Make sure you share this with your friends. Save it. I don't care. Repost it. This needs to be out so it doesn't happen to someone else because I'm pretty sure I'm not the first. I hope I'm the last because I reported his butt. Yeah, I did. But please be sure that you're paying attention to what is actually being debited from your account. i see y'all later. Y'all. Now, that takes me back to the IRS. That IRS knows what's in your account. They know what you're spending. They know what you're spending it on. They know how often you're sending cash apps to speak with your girl, Marcella, or cash apps to anybody. You need to understand that the, when you file your taxes the beginning of 2024, all these contributions and donating that you're doing to people, it will become taxable. Taxable. That's why I say, be careful who you donate to. Make sure that you have a receipt. Don't, the IRS do not want to hear this game. Oh, that was a gift. Because you're going to be paying taxes on it. So don't play around. Big Brother is always watching. That's why I told you, be careful. That's why I don't come up here saying that I need a cash app. I need a super chat. Just know that if you send me more than $600 a year, I'm going to pay taxes on it for receiving it. And it's going to be counted for you for sending it to me. Be careful with your money. I'm tired of these hidden fees every time I use my card. And that's why I told you, listen, I do it. If I know I'm going to make a very big purchase besides a car, if I say I'm going to buy my daughter money for her home, you know what I do? We go to the store. We pick out the couch, the refrigerator, and everything she wants. I get the store to total it up for me. And then I go into my bank and I get a cashier's check and I take it back to the store. So you don't try to add on no other stuff on me, including the, the delivery fee. I give them a cashier's check in full because I'm going to tell you where the hidden fees come in. Say I buy my daughter this furniture. The couch is $2. And by the time they finish ringing it up, it's $5. And then they add a service fee for the lady punching that into the machine. And then you got a service fee for them taking the furniture out of the store into a truck, truck to your house. And then you don't even know because you ain't looked at your bill. Now, I'm going to tell you, and I told y'all how I pay my mortgage. I never lied to y'all. Every time I make a mortgage payment, I always put extra money on my escrow. And I know you're saying, that's wrong. You're supposed to put the money on your principal. I put it on my escrow one month because when everybody's insurance went up for 2023, if you owned a house, 
your insurance for your house went up. Well, my and your mortgage went up. Mine's didn't because I was always putting money on my escrow. And then I'll turn around and put extra money on my mortgage. It is important if you own a house, if you your 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 house is a thousand dollars, put an extra hundred dollars or fifty dollars on your this is how you do it. You say, okay, a thousand divided by twelve. A thousand divided by twelve. Whatever the answer is, put that on your principal. Make an extra payment a year. Why you might ask? Because that knocks down seven years of your mortgage. It's true. It's true. You might be suffering, but for 2024, the reveal is here. Make a sacrifice. Make a sacrifice. Pay one extra mortgage a year if you can. You don't have to put a hundred. If you have a thousand and you want to put 20 extra dollars towards your principal. Now, let me tell you something. If your mortgage is $2, don't send $2 and add three more dollars on that mortgage. Please know that your escrow and your principal go to a whole separate place. Your escrow and principal goes to a whole separate place. Let me see. Can I, let me see. Is my mortgage paper up here? Give me one second because I'm on my desk. Look, my desk is crazy, but I think I got a paper up here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Is this it? Let's see. No, this ain't it. Hold on. Give me one second. It's up here because I was been looking at my mortgage because I'm going, I plan on paying my mortgage off very soon. Um, I don't want nobody to come in and put me out of my home and think they can have my home because they can't. Oh my goodness. It was up here. Just give me one second, y'all. I want to show y'all this. Well, last year, I waited until January 10th and I put an extra 125000 on my mortgage. And you know what I did? I paid it to the principal. I don't know where it is. I, I don't know where it is. I thought I had it up here. Hold on. Well, I showed y'all in my last financial video. I paid an extra $125,000 to my mortgage. Why? Because I have other mortgages. I pay for my apartment in New York. And I wanted to make sure that I get my, look at that, look at the hair, y'all. Look at the hair, look at the hair, look at the hair. Um, I wanted to make sure that if something happens to my husband, I don't want to be waiting around for insurance. Same with me. I don't want him waiting around for insurance money to kick in. That's what I don't want. I don't want him waiting around. I want things to continue to be paid and ahead. Um, and that is uh, the reason why I do it. Now, let me show y'all something. I sent this to my daughter, so I know it's still in her. Um, wait a minute. I, I got to show y'all this. And this is for all you New Yorkers. Anybody who lives in New York, I need y'all to know this is real. Wait a minute. Listen to this, y'all. Hey, everybody. Hey, Michelle. Sweet lady. In fact, it increased the mortgage. That's right. That it in, and but my mortgage it didn't increase my mortgage because I had already every other month I give mon more money to the escrow. Facts it increased the mortgage. If the insurance and property taxes increases, you better believe your mortgage will increase. Facts. I know what I'm talking about. I might be goofy, but I'm I'm smart when it comes to money and numbers. Okay, here go. Pay attention, America especially if you live in New York City, because they just passed legislation on 2.13. Google it. New York 2.13. This article was published on November 22nd, 2023 by Armstrong Economics, and it was uh, put up on LinkedIn. 
you guys can find this article very easily. Uh, this article on 2.13 is stating that the government now has legal authority to remove residents from their homes and force them into quarantine camps. There is no age restriction. Children can be removed from their homes without parental consent. They do not need to warn citizens when they are coming or how long they must be quarantined. You will be required to take any steps the state mandates, including taking medication against your will. There is no due process, no court hearing, and no rule of law as the government may now abduct citizens in the name of public health. It goes on to state, you may not even take a test to determine if you are sick. The state has full authority over you and your body. This is one of the most restrictive and oppressive pieces of legislation to pass in U.S. history and nullifies our freedoms. Pay attention, America, especially if you live in New York. What did I go do? I went to LinkedIn. I looked up New York Code 213. They passed this legisl legislation and didn't tell anybody. But guess what? In Virginia, it wouldn't be a legislation of 2.13 because that's New York's code. That's not Virginia code. They're changing laws. Why, why are we worried about love and marriage, Huntsville? They changing laws while we looking at the circus of Donald Trump. They're changing laws right in front of our face, but we're afraid to say something. They have, in the state of Florida, have taken black history out of schools. In Virginia, black histories out of school. Believe me, when something ridiculous happens, we're being distracted. So sometimes when things happen, I don't look at things right there in front of me. What I do is look around to see what's happening. And I promise you, I would love to get up here and tell y'all political stuff. But, you know, that people are not interested. They're not interested in that. Happy Sunday, Aquarius. Does the escrow account earn interest or dividends? I.e., to some point in time, with the... um. Aggregate amount pay and earn enough to cover your premium. Yes. If, listen, my, I, I got a paper. Y'all y'all know I'm not organized today because y'all, I have this organizer working in my house. Okay. My um escrow, uh, my escrow payment is, let me see, let me break it down here. But I got the pay. I get a paper that tells me everything I have to pay. So, um, what month was this? Okay. My escrow, it, if my escrow payment in the beginning of the year, say they say my escrow is $5,000 for that year. I try to pay enough over those 12 months to give an extra $5,000. When I do... My mortgage goes down because I don't owe that much in insurance. So on mine, on my mortgage breakdown, I have principal, I have interest, I have escrow, and I have fees, option products, unapplied suspense. Now, y'all, I, I know that they tell they push in this mortgage insurance. Have mortgage insurance. Listen, mortgage insurance added into your mortgage will make your mortgage astronomical. You don't want that. Why would I need mortgage insurance if I already have insurance and I, if something happens to me, I want the house sold anyway. I want it sold. If I can't live here, I don't, I don't want it. That's extra money that Americans just don't have. That reflects the principle of the property. Now, my interest, I don't pay on no interest. I pay on my principal. Okay, because on your mortgage paper, 
it's going to show here that you have, let me do this. On your principal, it's going to show that you have principal, interest, escrow, taxes, and insurance, fees. So I paid $10,000 in escrow, $464. That means for the next couple of years, my mortgage is going to continue to go down because I didn't pay my insurance for two years. Okay, for um, my principal... I've paid $10,736, right? For my interest, I paid $13,157. For my escrow and taxes, I paid $10,464, right? But this is outside of my mortgage payment. Like, I plan on totally rec um, retiring. I've decided, I've already let go of my New York house years ago. When my grandmother passed, I, I didn't need it. I let that go. I believe you moved to a state where you can be evicted within 11 days. I'm from the West Coast. I never seen anything like this. They are. They are evicting people. Even, listen to Shell, put a one in the chat if I'm telling the truth. They are evicting you. Even if you are not behind on your rent. They're doing this to folk. You must, if you owe a thousand dollars, let me do it on my calculator right quick because I can't think of it in my head. Let me do it on my calculator. Gotta find my calculator. Okay. If you have a thousand dollars rent, if your rent is a thousand dollars, you divide it into 12. So I'm dividing it into 12. Pay $83. And 33 cents to your principal. Take your mortgage and divide it into 12. Everybody should desire to become a homeowner. If your credit's messed up, you want to tell me, Marcella, I need help with my credit. There is a lot of things that you just ignored on your credit that can be taken off. Okay. Let me show y'all an example of a letter. Y'all y'all know I'm all over the place, but I'm going to tell you. Say you have this on your credit. Hold on. Say you have this on your credit. Um, you got an old bill. Let me tell you something. Gems. If you got any bills in collections, don't pay it. Don't. Let me show you why. Here's a letter right here. I don't know if I could turn this light out. I don't know if you can see the letter. Okay, here's the letter. Your complete name. Wait a minute. Hey. You put your complete name, right? Report confirmation number of the collection agency. Identify. Information requested by company typically includes date of birth, address, telephone number, your return address. You address uh, the credit. You, here's all the credit. Address the credit reporting. Select one of the three. Okay. Mine's is Equifax, I believe. But here's all the addresses right here. Dear name of credit reporting company, Equifax, whoever you choose. I am writing to dispute the following. Let me read it to you. I'm writing to dispute the following. Got to make it big because you know I'm old. Information that appears on my credit report. Dispute. The following example. I'm disputing. Just say I'm disputing Sears because, um, you know, I'm the examples of why I'm disputing this is the account number or information to identify the account. You give that source of dispute info, um, insert the name of the company. Like I'm um, Sears would be the name of the company, such as a bank that provided information type of dispute information. It is like public record or information, unknown credit, unknown credit reporting agency, 
meaning that you don't know nothing about Sears, because I'm going to tell you something. When the collection company comes after you, you can say, listen, I want you to send me a letter with my original signature. Original signature. The credit collection company don't have it. You know why? Because Sears done sold that bill to this collection agency. Sears done sold it. And that's their business to buy debt and make you pay. Mortgage insurance is another layer of coverage. So if you're hospitalized with medical illness, you can borrow off your mega, your mortgage insurance. But the way I do it, I have a lot of equity in my properties. So I take, I use my equity. It is expensive, sweet lady. It is. Um, should I pay my home off before retirement? This is what I'm going to tell you. I would say, don't pay it off. I would say make sure that you fatten up your principal. Now, on, in my um, in my thing, see my little mortgage thing right here. It says unapplied suspense. See zero zero. Now, like my husband's getting sick, I'm adding money to that unapplied suspense. What I do is add extra mortgages payments inside that unsus um supplied expense. I would add extra money. Everybody got this on their mortgage. Unapplied suspense. I add extra money in there. I send a little bit of money in there here, and then they'll total it. Why I do that? Because I right now, I keep six months worth of my mortgage in the bank. Right now, I, I keep six months worth of mortgage in the bank. But if I my husband got really sick or I got really sick, I would tell the bank, to please send that money to my mortgage company, which it is a separate paying place, which I have enrolled that with my bank. Let me show you something. See on, see on this right here? It says additional principal, additional mortgage. You don't send it in when you make your payment. So look what I did. Over here, I sent $125,000 in, right? And then I put an extra $500 in my un... This is this is from last year, y'all. I'm going to see if y'all can see the date. See the date on this? This is from last year, 12-2023. 110. See what I got? I wrote up there, 110. One-time payment. I paid one hundred and twenty-five thousand twenty-four dollars and thirteen cents. I don't mind sharing that with you. If somebody gonna call the mortgage company, I don't give a damn. Okay. Anyway, uh, I make sure that I am set. I I'm fifty-nine years old, and right now I'm in good health. But on my trust, if I am incapable of doing this, which I'm the first beneficiary on my trust. Tim is the first beneficiary on his trust. Then comes me. Then comes our beneficiary. Um. So, hey, wait, just a minute. I'm sorry, y'all. This is Saturday, okay? My kids. Uh, Miss Bugs is pretty affordable. 100K policy or a 50K policy for $25. Then I need to speak to you because that's not what I'm hearing with the people that come for me. And maybe because I'm putting multiple homes in there. So I'm paying on the interest of a loan before I ever pay what I owe. You're right. And that's why I tell you to send that extra money to the principal. Don't worry about the interest. Worry about the principal when you make your regular mortgage payment, right? That's going to the interest. It's not touching the principal. Put extra money on your principal. Um, we got we got to sit down and have a talk talk. I, I don't want to make this members only because, y'all, I always every time I do a freaky financial, whatever I am challenged in my. 
in my um DM. You shouldn't be doing that. You you don't have the financial credentials. No, but I have money. And I don't want to just throw and lose my money. And and I tell y'all at the bottom of this, I'm not liable for any money loss in financial markets. I'm not going to tell you who to invest in in them financial markets. I'm not going to ever tell nobody who where to put your money at. I'm going to tell you that me and Buffy are good friends. Buffy had told me about when COVID-19 came, she told me about um, this place where people were going to be buying their kids uh, video games during the COVID. And I put 800 in there and I got over 8,000 in my investment. You know, when everything was shut down, people wanted to shut their kids up. So it was GameStop. And I got money from that. And if y'all don't follow Buffy on Instagram, when she's talking financial, she's telling you for free. She's not like Dr. Heavenly charging you. I'm never going to charge you. You can come and ask me something. And if I don't know the answer, I will look for the answer for you. Because that may not have been my circumstance. Took it into family. And I know I can't afford it. I can't. I, I can't. But guess what? If you have any debt um, upon your death, um, tell them to sell your house. Like my house right here that I'm living in. If I die, even if Tim is alive, 90 days, this has to be in the market. If Tim dies, 90 days, this has to be on the market. I want to liquidate it. And I have that in my trust to liquidate money to cover all my expenses. You know, when you die, you still got bills. And sometimes these bills cling on to your estate. For example, guess who's trying to get money right now? Guess who's trying to get money off somebody who just died a state? Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. Do you know that they're trying to pull from O.J. Simpson's estate? They want their money. But he did some things that they did not know. O.J. Simpson did made money at the end of his death and all after he got out of jail. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, it should have been right there. But anyway... Where did I put that about OJ? Let me just Google it because I saved it. I don't know where the heck I deal with it. Okay, when OJ Simpson died, OJ claimed to have estimated a net worth of ten point eight million and a monthly income of fifty five million. OJ death um. I'm, I want to tell you, OJ, this, these people had then requested OJ Simpson's, um, if you see that first word, y'all, I, I need y'all to see this. I need y'all to see this. I need y'all to see this. If, if OJ Simpson assets go to court, Goldman Brown family could line be first in line. Simpson was found liable in a $33 million. I want I want y'all to see that first word. It's two letters. It's small. But if OJ Simpson had a trust fund in which his money will not go into probate, the Brown and Goldman family will get nothing. Nothing. If O.J. Simpson, when he found out that he had prostate cancer in February, he began changing his assets out of his name and put his Las Vegas house in his son's name, put started transferring everything into his beneficiary names, the Goldman and Brown family will get nothing. And that's why it says 
if, if O.J. Simpson stuff goes, if, and O.J. did not want them to get nothing. Because towards the end of his death, if he did autographs, it could only be cash only. Whatever he wanted, he made it cash only. So they didn't know what O.J.'s real net worth was upon him passing. I'm trying to find that article so I don't be talking off the dome because I know what I'm talking about here. Hold on. Y'all, we're going to come back. We're going to come back a little bit later because I just want to go in there and check on my um, husband. But y'all, if y'all were into fashion, Roberto Cavalli, he passed away at 83. I, you know, I want to pray for his family. Roberto Cavalli passed away. Um, I think it was this morning. Um, rest in peace, sir. You have dressed me a lot. Okay. And I want to show y'all why y'all should be very concerned. Look at this, y'all. Three billionaires are destroying the real estate market right now. And number one, I bet you've never even heard of. Number three is Jeff Bezos. He's on here for two reasons. He spent millions investing in this company. And you might think it's not a big deal. It's just a real estate company. A real estate company has already bought up 200 single family homes and taken $100 million of inventory off the market for first time home buyers. And he's buying up hundreds of thousands of acres of farmland, 420,000 acres, but also way behind Bill Gates. Which is bad, but still not bad enough to be on this list. Number two is the CEO and co-founder of BlackRock, Larry. BlackRock. Right here, BlackRock. And Larry BlackRock. Then bought up. percent of available homes in Georgia, 30% in Arizona, and the list just goes on and on. 29%, almost 30% in Texas. That's a huge state. They're choking the housing market of much needed supply by buying it all up with cash. For one is businessman John Carl Malone. He's 82, has a net worth of $9.4 billion that he made in telecommunications. He's the largest private owner of farmland across America. And the second largest private land owner just overall. Between him, another billionaire Ted Turner, and billionaire Bill Gates, they own over 6 million land acres in the U.S. That's an incalculable amount of resources that we all depend on. Bill Gates made it known I'm buying up farmland. Let's get these Mexicans out of the United States and then we can start working who? Who is on the human being totem pole at the bottom? Black folks. They didn't even bring the immigrants in and put them under us. No, 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 no. They made the immigrants that came in the United States they clarified them as white people. Didn't the courts rule that his retirement account could not be touched by the Goldmans and the Browns? OJ was never completely broke. His retirement trust was worth millions. Right. And he was getting, he was clocking $55,000 a month and they couldn't, they couldn't touch it. And now they're saying he's dead. We're going to stand in line. OJ was like, I didn't kill um, the Goldman. And Nicole, I ain't giving y'all nothing. I believe that that man, family, he set everybody up to own his stuff when he died. He ain't going to leave them people nothing. He was mad. That's why he bought the big house in Florida, maxed out the sale of the home, can go to the kids. He played it smart, and he was looking out for his kids. And when he passed away, each of his children were there. And guess what? He even left money to his deceased child that died in 1979. Now, she did, right? She died on a swimming pool accident. But guess who the money go to? The deceased dead child's mother. They will get nothing. They will fight and lose money again. And Ron Goldman's father is dead. He's dead. He died before OJ. For what will they be giving homes away? No, they ain't giving no homes away. 
They want to corner to the market. Now, they done bought up all the new homes. Remember, I told y'all a couple of months ago, there was a lot of homes out there because builders had built these homes and nobody could afford to buy it. Look, the interest rate went up to 7.2 um, last week. Our people. Mm -hmm. I'm tell you another thing. BlackRock, that is actually the family that runs the United States of America. Bumper Obama, bumper Donald Trump, bump whoever become president. The Black Rock family is the hand that feed us. Believe that. Black Rock is buying up medical physicians groups and some hospital systems. And I saw that on Independent News Service report last year. And you know why? Because they're going to tell you if you can go to the doctor. They're going to be able to tell you if they feel like you need the best of the best. Okay. He's also creating synthetic meat for us to eat. The new world order. Believe this. Believe this when I say this is not something crazy I be talking about. Y'all, it's a new world order. You think that all these fires and trains turning over with oil and poisons on different lands was a quinky dink in Ohio where they walked around with a clipboard and telling people we're going to give you you know money now for your medical sign this and they didn't read the small writing on it and the small writing is that you can never come after and sue the train company I don't want to say their name Southern, North, Norfolk Southern, Norfolk Southern. They made you sign this paper and people, farm chickens was dropping dead. People, cows was dropping dead. And what they do, they put a check in your hand. Here you go, $100,000. You just took $100,000. You done gave these people your land. You made it so that they can't sue you, but people look at a hundred thousand dollars and say, "You yeah, give me a hundred thousand dollars." No, you know they're gonna give me money on the back end. They told you word of mouth, "We're gonna give you money on the back end," but nobody put it in paper. The paper that you signed in Ohio, this happened. That whole little town got polluted and poisoned. And today, we don't even know how many people died. We know that chickens and cows and their farm animals and dogs and all of them died, but they never told us, never ever told us about how many family members have died. That's why I say start keeping money in your house. Start coming away from being in debt. You don't need those shoes. You don't need that dress. You don't need these things right here. And you sure damn don't need a new car. Let me tell you something. I live around a lot of wealthy people. They don't buy new cars. Put a one in the chat. Put a one in the chat. Rich people don't buy new cars. When you go to the hospital, now you know that they have doctors inside of the hospital working. You don't see no parking space where you see BMWs, you know, you Maseratis. They come in Hondas. They don't drive new cars. You know, black people drive those fancy, smancy cars because they want to appear like they got money. A Jaguar, for example. An oil change on a Jaguar is almost Fifteen to eighteen hundred dollars. Do your research and make your own medicine. What did I say? I said that at the beginning of this video. Now I'm gonna ask y'all for real, for real, for real. Put a one in the chat of y'all want me to come up here and start talking about economics, politics, and finances because I'm telling you, I get so many, so much hate. Um, in here for for talking about finances, y'all. But I want to tell y'all another thing. I want to share this with y'all right quick. Y'all got to forgive me. I need to put all these things together, but I don't. I haven't gotten it together. Um, 
I'm going to put this up here. Y'all take y'all phones right quick. Copy this, y'all. Copy this. Look. Aloe vera, basil, bay leaf, blackberry, all these things can help you medicinally. Medic medicinally, they can help you. These things heal y'all. Y'all start looking up health food stuff that can heal you. Simple vegetables and vitamins can heal you, okay? Um, look at this right here. Reflexology. Look at this. These pl places on your toes, y'all. Inner ear, eye. All this is on the bottom of your feet. Things that will help your liver and gallbladder, your stomach. Y'all may say, okay, I don't. Hey, Lonline, come on. Okay. Bye-bye. That was London. These places on your feet, th these, these things right here, reflexology, your feet is what control your whole body. When you're going to get your heart checked, your eyes checked, get your feet checked. Get your feet checked. There is so many things that people do not realize that can help us. You you don't realize it because you're saying, dang, my feet, my feet? Yes, your feet is very important to your nourishment of your body and how healthy you stay. Hold on, let me get to this. And y'all, it's about to be some crazy stuff going on. Do y'all know Russia's Vladimir Putin open up this vault he had. And he came out and said, Jesus is black. If this isn't jealousy because they can, don't. Jesus is black. Did y'all not hear that about Jesus is black? Did y'all not hear about that? Jesus is black. Now, y'all say, okay, that's Vladimir Putin. We're not going to listen to him. But guess what? Listen to this man. And don't you black people ever forget one thing. Oh, wait a minute. The man that helped Jesus carry that cross was a black man. Never forget another thing. Jesus belongs to Africa as much as he does to Europe and Asia. He was born in that part of the world that touches Africa and Asia and Europe. And Jesus was not a white man like me, nor was he as black as some of you. We don't know what the color of his skin, but it must have been a dark color like the people of his day because he was a man like them. Don't ever say it's a white man's religion or a black man's religion. It's a world religion. He belongs to the world. And don't you black people ever forget one thing. The man that helped Jesus carry that cross was a black man. Never forget another thing. Jesus belongs to Africa as much as he does to Europe and Asia. He was... He wasn't... Putin's not supposed to do it. He was never supposed to tell us. And that's why we have to focus on being kings and queens. Because we are the real code. We are the real kings and queens. They figure if they keep us dumb, don't tell, tell us how to invest our money. They done took so much away from us, including in my state, New York. You know, if y'all ever been... On a field trip, I'm not, 
I, I meant vacation. Have who can people put in my chat right now? Right now, right now. Anybody who's ever been to New York, please, please put a one in the chat. Please put a one if you've been to New York City. They do have a foot detox. I haven't tried it yet. You have to. Yes, I've been known Yemen is black. We already knew that. Put a one in the chat if you've been to New York City. That's why the Pope praises the black Madonna in private. The region where he was born here describes of a lamb's wool. He sure was not clear. Straighten hair or blue eyes. We already knew the truth. Praise God. We are in our last days. Okay, let me tell y'all a little secret about New York. Y'all may not know. Have y'all ever been to Central Park? That was a slap at those palm people, nations that have been coming against us so hard. And he's showing up his portion of Africa. Now, li listen to this, y'all. Did you know the Central Park had a dark past? Believe it or not, it wasn't always a giant green space. Today, we're going back in time to Seneca Village. In the 1820s, Seneca Village was a thriving community of mostly African Americans who owned their land. They had... Y'all all been to Seneca Village. All of you. It was owned by all, all black people. Seneca Village, keep this in mind. Houses, churches, and schools. A whole mini city where people could live freely. Where is it now? Sadly, in the 1850s, New York City decided to build Central Park and Seneca Village was in the way. Homes were torn down and residents were forced to leave. Seneca Village's history was almost forgotten, but today we're remembering this important part of New York City's past. Did you know the Central Park had a dark past? Believe it or not, it wasn't always a giant green space. Today, we're going back in time to Seneca Village. In the 1820s, Seneca Village was a thriving community of mostly African Americans who owned their land. They had houses, churches, and schools. A whole mini city where people could live freely. Where is it now? What did they do? They moved us out. Let me tell you. If you go to Georgia, Lake Lanier. In Lake Lanier, a lot of people are dying. Uh, let me give you a little bit of history now. Lake Lanier. A lot of the celebrities go out there to boat when you go to Georgia. Lake Lanier used to be a black city. According to Atlanta History Center, Lake Lanier, a popular local attraction, has a dark history and ongoing racial tension. While the myth of flooding a predominantly black town named Oscarville is untrue, the mass exodus of black residents from Forsyth County did occur due to racial violence. You know why they say it's untrue? Because it's true. They said it was Oscarville. And what they did was flooded out a predominantly black city to get blacks out of there. They've been taking our land for a long time. They've been taking our land. Okay, that's two places. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Everybody said, oh, I wouldn't want to live in no Oklahoma. Tulsa, Oklahoma, black wealth. The true cost of Tulsa race massacre 100 years ago. What was the influent African-American community in Tulsa? You know what they did? They called it Greenville. And they burnt it down. 
When we black people put our money in their banks, they took it. And then you know what they did. You know what they did? They made sure you didn't know how to count the money you got. They made sure when they say, here, you work and save and gave your money back to your employer. So your employer kept paying you the wages that you had already earned. This is what they're doing to us. We got to show them we're not our ancestors. Okay. Tulsa, Tulsa, Oklahoma should belong to us. Look at this. Oil and blood, the color of wealth in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Critical reports find that. Y'all, please hold for me. I hear my husband. Wait a minute. Please hold for me, okay? I'm sorry. The latter have failed. Uh, yes, please pray for my husband. Um, I wanted to do my own land, and they refused to give us. I'm going to tell y'all something. There is a trick in the devil. Now, I had decided that before my 60th birthday, I'm going to go ahead and buy my house. And I did, my house is already designed. And they told me I have to pay cash for the land. Do you know that they are selling a lot of land to black folk where they don't have no pipes of water under the ground? So when you buy that land, you got to call the electric company to have them put poles up to run electricity out there for your land. I'm talking about in rural places. If there's no houses around, you have to pay for water, a water line that the next store might be 30 miles down the street, but you got to pay for all that piping to bring water to your residence. They have sold a lot of people here land that you can't build on. You can never build on because there is no electricity and piping through the ground. So before I decided to purchase the land, I go to the city and they tell me this, but they were willing to sell me some land that was $200,000 that they told me I had to pay for before I can build a house up there. But they didn't tell me that I would have to pay for all that other stuff. 
And I've been telling everybody, we're talking about migrating to rural places. And they didn't tell you the big thing before you put your money down on it. So you're buying a piece of land, that's no good. And if they don't decide to start building out there in the next five years, you are paying for all that water to transfer to your home. They're not teaching us black folks that. They want us to stay together. They've been causing these fires in different states. Let me tell y'all something. For the weather to be last winter, do y'all remember that California got East Coast winter and um, East Coast got California sun? It was snowing in Los Angeles last year. That's not where you hear snow is. They can control the weather. They have been take, working on taking over a new world order. And if we don't know what's going on, if we don't listen to somebody, I, I ain't going to knock Dr. Heavenly Hustle. She wants you to come on into her class. She wants y'all to learn. But we need to be learning agriculturally. They've been taking Black people land for a long time. Let me see. The clear people has always been stealing, lying, and scamming. But unfortunately, the brainwash of making black people are the boogeyman is truly a shame. And they have. Uh, it truly have. Now, I seen this little test. And I know y'all going to say I'm stupid, but I'm going to tell you. I seen this little test on the internet. I took my granddaughter, London, to the store. I said, I'm going to buy you a doll baby, which I never was going to buy a doll baby. I never bought my kids any doll babies, okay? I asked her, what Barbie you want? This Barbie, it was a black Barbie. Or you want the white Barbie? And my granddaughter said, Grandma, I want, I want Barbie and Ken, the white Barbie. And I said, well, why do you want the white Barbie? You're a black girl. You know what she told me? Oh, no, that's nasty. That's nasty. I have made it my mission to teach my granddaughter that you might be light, but you are black. If you are mixed with any portion of black, you are black. I am Hispanic and black. And when I write down for a test on my ethnicity, I put black. I'm a black woman. And you know what's the most dangerous weapon among all of us? That if you are black and educated, you are a threat. Sometimes it's all right to play dumb. But before you go and buy a house, know what you're doing. So the house that I was going to buy is $400,000. I designed the house, everything. They told me if I was to get this house built starting next month, that my mortgage would be $6,000. Now, y'all know where I live at. Google my house. I paid $561,000 for this house. And my mortgage is only $2,400. But then I got HOA, I got other fees that are associated with it. Even some black folks are our worst enemies. It's like crabs in a bear. bear. It is. This year is a year of reveal. Not for P. Diddy doing his little nasty stuff. It's a reveal of what the government has planned for you and me and everybody. And guess what we're doing? We're out buying Michael Kors, Louis Vuitton, trying to look good in the hood. I got cousins that live in the hood that drive BMWs. You paying more and paying $12 for rent. But guess what? What happened? They said, girl, we closing down this projects. Here's a voucher paper. You go find you an apartment and... And you have a voucher that would tell people, this is how much we will pay for your rent. And guess what? Because of what the economy is doing right now, where you would be paying, say, $1,200 of rent, 
the owners of the apartment have every right to raise the rent to what they want it to be. It's, it's only worth $600 a month because you got roaches, rats, old pipes. But they said, we want $3,000 for you to live here because you got that voucher. That voucher will say, we're only going to pay $1,200 of your rent. That means you got to pay the rest. We got to learn about our money. We have to learn about to get our needs Put our needs in front of our wants. It is time right now. I don't have to look better than Butterfly. I don't have to look better than um, Gwendolyn. Now, not too far from my house, I have a, fa a family that a lady who is a Johnson and Johnson heir. When you go to her house, you would think that she got all her furniture from Armish. You would think all she got is wood and trinkets. She ain't got no food in the refrigerator. I told y'all that. She has powders on her counter. What they do is go out and eat a healthy steak. They come back in and they cleanse their body of the beef and pork. They cleanse, they cleanse it out. It takes 52 days for beef to come out of our system. We need to learn how to eat according to our blood types as well. I've seen a lot of black folks in position. They're supposed to help and support, but they do not. Listen, I'm going to tell you something that I see about rich people. Even though they have enough to go, live over their lifetime, to live over their lifetime, they still want more money, more and more and more and more. I live in California to buy a single family home. The price is starting at $600,000. And I'm going to tell you why it's so high, Miss Davis. Because they want to keep you out. That's the first thing. They, they don't want you to live there. So they make it high enough so you cannot live there. And if a black person live there, you become white people only black friend. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I told y'all the story of what happened to me when I, I was the first person in this neighborhood. We only got 34 houses in this neighborhood, and they use P. Daddy. People, listen, I'm going to show y'all in a minute why they using P. Daddy. He's the fall guy. P. Daddy was a nasty gay man. To sleep with kids, that what made him nasty. To sleep with other men, he was gay. And it's okay if that's what he choose. What's so wrong with it is that he hides it. He hides that. I'm from Oklahoma, and I was raised in Lawton, Oklahoma. My great-granddad was the first black police officer in Lawton, Oklahoma. Papa told us about the stories of black Hollywood. Yes, but we forget about that. We forget about that. Those Section 8 vouchers are bogus. I have my own story to tell about that. Yes, government assistance is set up. Because guess what they can do? But I, I'm jumping all over the place, <laughs> y'all, because we haven't had a talk in a long time. I'm jumping all over the place today, so y'all forgive me. Just keep up. Just keep up. I'm going to tell you something about government assistance. Do you know that they can take your food stamps when they want to? They don't have to notify you that next month you won't be getting any food stamps. They can do what they want to do with you. And what's so funny, they put black folk in black areas, they make them black social workers. That's the demographic. They want another black folk to tell you, you don't deserve these food stamps. Why you ain't got a job? You, you think that drugs came into our area and didn't flood Millionaire Row? Why drugs didn't flood Millionaire Row? We right now are the dominating black population in the United States. That is why they're getting these correctional facilities. They're not built for everybody. They built for us. That's why they're taking our black history out of the school. That's why they put your kids in juvenile schools where they're punishing you. They're programming you right then.
you are in a behavioral school, then you go to juvenile detention, and they almost guarantee you're going to be in the penitentiary. It's what I hate is when black folks do get rich, they don't reach back and turn around. They don't turn around and help people in their area. They go to Africa. They go to different places and help communities. My bank sent me a letter after my credit score came out, says that they pre-qualified me for $500. I said, yeah, okay, and tore the letter up. You better have it. Because that $500,000 that they're trying to pre-qualify you with is $700,000 debt that you will be in. Why? Because they qualify you for $500,000 and the interest rate says you owe more. That's sad about our kids. That's why I tell you all to teach your children. See, in New York, we got schools that teach Hebrew. Why do you think they would let that happen? Because the Bible is translated in English for us USA people. But the Bible originally is in Hebrew. And they in, in, in the Hebrew classes we had in New York, they teach you exactly what the Bible say. This right here has the commentary they want us to have. Hey, Aquarius. Um, Davida, the Oscars was made by black men in Hollywood. And guess who really gets Oscars? Black people. True that, Marcella. Um, Butterfly, they're trying to get me into debt. And I got it. That's right. And I'm going to tell you something. They, Gail, yeah, I told y'all. When I paid off all my credit cards, you know what happened? I got a letter from Target saying that, you know, I haven't used my credit card in two years. If I did not come in there and make a purchase, that they would take my credit card. You know what that's set up to do when I don't use it? Let me tell you what it's set up to do. When I don't use the credit card and then they close my credit card, my perfect 840 credit score will drop because they closed my credit card. Yep. I do banks, only credit unions. Yep, I don't do banks. I do credit unions as well. Hey, Norris, I love you. Hey, Norris. Um, Davida James, yes, it's the best way to go. Listen, take 24 and 25 and get out of debt. Once you get down to um, $30,000 in debt, go in your bank and consolidate it. You do not close your accounts. Just tear your cards up. And when it closes, it'll be all right. I work for Section 8 in Sacramento, California. The Section 8 department put all the black one in and put all the black areas, keep the residents at low income. They're doing that to us because they don't want us to be superior. They don't. Let me tell you something. Do you think that the government is not watching? YouTube, do you think that? Do you think that YouTube don't love when the black content creators come after each other? Because if you are a YouTuber, you know that when somebody sends you a super chat, let, let me see if y'all know this. Say you sent me a $100 super chat. Do you know I'm only going to get $60 of that super chat? That's it. That's all. I'm not going to get the whole $100 you give me. It's going to pay you to. L.A. Price said that send it the same route. I pay my credit cards in full. That's wise to do. And I'm going to tell you for the ones who can't. Don't feel bad that you can't. But I want you to get on that phone today. You call your credit card company and said. I need to know my statement date. And they're going to say, well, your statement date is the third. Before they print out that statement, make them a $20 payment. Not the whole thing. If your, pay your regular payment is 
thirty-five dollars do it one month. If you, I'm trying to look, y'all, y'all, my desk is crazy right now because I have y'all. I'm telling you, my brother is using me for his own secretary. My brother is using me, y'all. All right, okay. Your statement date is the second. On the first, before midnight, make sure that you make a $20 payment. Say your payment is $35. Make sure you make a $25 payment. You know why they don't want to tell you that? Make a statement payment before your statement is printed. Because then when you make your regular payments the next month, they can't add interest. They can't add any interest to your things. They can't. They can't add interest, but they're never going to tell you that. Okay. I have a 700 plus and my Amer American Express. After I pay that off, I am done with it. Yes. Try to keep your credit scored up. Try to pay things on time. But I'm saying white people know the loophole. They know that we paying that extra taxes and interest because we don't know the game. You call and get your statement date before your, on your credit card and make a small payment. Not the payment that's owed, a small payment. Then after that, when they send you the statement and it says you owe by the 15th, pay it. You know what they're probably going to do? Next month, not even send you a bill because you done paid before the statement date and they can't add any interest on you. I am definitely watching all of the mess that happens on YouTube. You, you be a fool if you think they ain't. They watching it. They want black folk to really tear each other apart. They do. Now, that's why I say when I come after somebody, I'm doing this for entertainment. It's entertainment. But there's a time you got to stop. That's why a lot of content creators ask for cash apps. But honey, they done caught on to that cash app, PayPal, Zelle, and Venmo. You will pay taxes on it when you file your taxes for 2025. For 2024, all these cash app, Zelles, and Venmos, and PayPals. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you can say to these people... Well, I sent Marcella $100 because this was a donation. It ain't no damn donation if I didn't give you a tax receipt. You know, be, listen to what I'm saying. When I give a donation to a charity, they in turn give me a receipt so I can claim this on my taxes. If you decide to give me a hundred dollars and I don't give you a tax receipt, you just gave your damn money away. I'm learning from you, Marcella. Thank you. Why you think uh why you think that the Cash App founder was murdered because he was going to create something to help poor Americans? Fat. I cut up all my credit cards. I don't like I don't like Amazon, especially the interest is high. Tell your brother that your plate is full. I try to, but y'all, y'all know I have 12 brothers and it's just me. Uh I um if your minimum is 20 and if you can afford it, pay 25 or 30 if you can. Right. Um, yep. Yep. They sure have. They're coming for those now, too. And and everybody trying to be slick, you know. So what they're doing now, people are saying, okay, let me buy some pens and write my name on it. Marcella speaks and tell everybody, you know, these pencils that I got that got my name on it, they're a dollar. You know why they're keeping the prices low? You know why I would give you 30% discount on this pencil? Because everything you give me, I'm not going to give you a tax receipt. Therefore, you just lost your money. Be a, sh a, a sharp consumer, a smart consumer. If you don't need it, don't buy it. Some people are not knowledgeable about the credit system. Who needs more than one credit card? For example, let me tell you what Miss Sophie's trying to say. I got a Black American Express. Why would I need a Sears credit card? Why would I need a Target credit card? 
Why would I need a different credit card when I have a black American Express that has a big, I can buy a house with my American Express. So why would I need that? Now, why I have it is because why my child, children, were away in college and they needed to buy something. I'm not going to give them my Black American Express. I'm going to get them a card where they can use for things they need. My daughter in New York, Target. Why? They sell food in there, toiletries in there. They sell a little bit of furniture. They sell towels, washcloths, toothpaste, soap, all that. That's your card. But guess what? So she doesn't get caught up in debt. And I already got the numbers for good credit. I get the credit card. But if get a credit card that has a large amount. And how you get a credit card with large amounts, your credit got to be good. Davide James, yes, I was just about to say, let's not forget he wasn't the only one that took out the guy who came up in the crypto. Yeah, and they just, NFL night, Super Bowl night, while we was, are you ready for some football? They killed three black billionaires in the sky. That same night, they were traveling to the NFL. Anybody hear about that? They killed three black billionaires, Africans, who was merging to help black Americans in the States. Who heard that? Um, whatever happened to the gov card the government was coming up with? Oh, not, not yet. Not yet. They're working on it because they got to critique these things. Facts. I need a Home Depot card. I need a Home Depot card, a couple of credit cards. I need, right, that's for stuff you need in it. I have two credit cards left to pay off. Get it down, y'all. I also think that they're trying to set up people who pays for premium health insurance with these subsidies. I got a child I adopted. She's scheduled for surgery in uh, July. Well, she got a letter last week that they took her Medicare. For no reason. And you know what I did? I got up at 7 o'clock in the morning. We was out here at 7.30. Went right on down there and applied for it again for her Medicare. And they sent her card in the mail. And if you already have a credit card, don't apply for credit uh, uh, store credit cards. The interest is more than the ones that you get through the banks, right? Uh, yep. I think I remember that. I heard it about them three black women. Let me tell you something. Every time there's a catastrophe that they got your eyeballs on, there's something else going on. Look, Jay-Z is trying to make sure that he don't get caught up in this. Yes, they sure did. And they barely talked about it on the news. They sure did. Three black billionaires who was here to aid, to open up black banks, to help black people. They were, their helicopter crashed. While we was looking at Usher, you got it, you got it, uh. And they, the helicopter crashed. I passed my notary exam. I got accepted to get commissioned in the state of North Carolina. I guess I should start my own notary business, absolutely. Yes, I heard about that. Smash the like button. Try and get 0% rate on transferred amounts. Okay, and you're right. But once I got to a certain amount that I could get a loan on my credit score, it's wise to consolidate so you can wipe everything out. Everything. Now, I, I want y'all to know that it is a hard inquiry. But you got to remember, every little credit card you apply for gave you a hard inquiry. Make sure, let me see, can I show y'all without giving y'all my information? Because I don't want to dox myself with my, my with my financial stuff. I'll tell you where I live. I will tell you my real name, and I do use my real name because I'm not, see, that's what about YouTube. When you come up here and you're open, 
You don't have to worry about people doxing you because you don't told them your whole name. It's when you come up here under donkey duty and you and you don't know that person's name and then they go searching for it. But it's all public information. Okay, let me show you this. I'm trying to get to the page where I can show you about my hard inquiries. I'm trying to get to the where I can show you. Where is it? Okay. Okay, I can show you this. See where my credit, I pull my credit and it says hard inquiry tip. Too many hard inquiries can hurt your credit. Now, this, it tells you that I have five hard inquiries. Y'all see that? Five. But let me show you something. Okay. I'm trying to go to the hard in the inquiry part without pulling y'all seeing my credits and stuff like that. Mm. I'm going to tell you about those hard inquiries. Some of those I got two years ago. Two years ago, and they're going to fall off this year. Let me see. I can't show y'all. I can't show y'all without showing you my credit. But... I got four hard inquiries falling off two years. When you get a hard inquiry, it just don't fall off. It stays there for two years. Facts, I remember that. They didn't want um, uh, anyone left to claim their empire. That's right. They killed the wife, the son, and everything. He was a CEO of a bank, and he was going to help people open up black banks here. Um, Sophie says, I'm currently living in Europe. I have learned a lot from them. I was in shock when my sister told me that she paid $900 a month for her car payment. Yes. Sophie, it's a lot because of the interest rate. Um, I was about to say that. Thank you. Thank you. I wanted to show y'all um, that you can get Credit Karma. And guess what? Credit Karma is going to tell you your hard inquiries and stuff, and then they're going to offer you credit cards to pay off other credit cards. No, don't take that. You are right. They barely discuss the crash on the news. I have to do, I have to do entrepreneur because the times have changed. We must create our own business. Even the most high was a skilled carpenter. Tell it. That's true. It's true. Let me see. Let me see what I want to share right quick before I get up off of here. Because I'm coming back today, I promise. I'm, I'm just going to spend a, some time with my husband, get him to sleep. Kick uh, Kickoff is great with increasing your... Okay, kickoff. Kickoff is another one. And Experian.com slash boost. That can help you build up your credit score to Experian.com slash boof. Boost, B-O-O-S-T. Um. Y'all, we can we can have we can do this together now. We can raise your credit score. We can help you. You got a question to ask. You don't have to tell me what credit card it is. You can give me examples. I can tell you. Listen, I'm all about that. Y'all, before we get up out of off of here today, I want y'all to pray for Michael Strahan's daughter, Isabella. Isabella had cancer. She Isabella is an identical twin. They found out that she had um uh, cancer and she was doing so well and she had a setback yesterday in October Michael Strahan's daughter Isabella 19 had a malign malignant brain tumor um, called melodulloblastoma surgery removed the teen has kept fans updated with her treatment journey which included chemotherapy radiation and more um, she details this on her YouTube unfortunately Ella um, Isabella recently shared a devastating cancer setback on Friday, which was yesterday. She published on her YouTube um, from her hospital bed that she was having fevers and that it was hurting her. And they did a CAT scan, among other tests. 
She was hysterically crying because she needed an IV and hadn't had to have one for a long time. Um, they have given her fluids now and antibiotics. She goes through and says that she's in a lot, a lot of pain and she has an identical twin. Um, Michael Straham had disappeared off of TV for a while because he has been his daughter's medicine. He has been there with his child. Y'all know um, it's a lot when your child is hurting. It's a lot like when my husband is hurting. So I'm in pain. Said, um, she said in the camera, um, she said, I'm not going to lie, her head hurts really bad. Tim has been having a lot of headaches. My face isn't as puffy as it usually is, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share a little bit of her vlog with you right quick, okay? Hey, vlog. On the way to the hospital. <laughs> yep. Got a fever. So they just accessed my port. Um, I'll show you guys. And so I have a fever, and we're going to see what's wrong. I can't see me. <laughs> I, oh my God, are those my tears on my shirt? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just sort of hysterically crying because I needed to get an IV. And I haven't had an IV in so long. It came on quickly. I was thrown into that IV, <laughs> and I have an MRI or two, hopefully, because I'm at the ER. And here's my, they're giving me fluids right now, an antibiotic, because I have fever, as I just said. What's so good about Elabeth, um, what's so good about Isabella, she is vlogging her diagnosis, but I'm going to tell you that she had a little setback after having two rounds of chemotherapy. Um, she had a major setback, and uh, Michael Straham has been there with his ex-wife, with his daughter, um, and now she has a head infection, a head infection, y'all. So please, 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 y'all keep her in prayer. I mean, I just think it's so hard with, you know, my husband going through uh, cancer, and I had cancer first, and I just thank God I had already had my children. I write about that in this magazine article. I mean, I don't know the magazine articles here. I had ovarian cancer. Is this how it works? Here I tell about my ovarian cancer. I think it's in this article. I, I just got put in another book. Um, I had ovarian cancer. I talked about it. Um, this will be I'm in another magazine that's coming out, y'all. Um, I just think people who overlook my foolishness. I am um, in a book with on the cover is a billionaire. Um, and I talk about my life. I got two pages in the book, y'all. Two pages. Here's one. And here is the other one. I'm in the magazine. That's me and my husband. And I just got um, a magazine. It's printing now. It would be my fourth magazine I've been into. So when people tell me, um, when people tell me, you know, you full of foolishness, you a liar, you're drunk. Um, a lot of times I don't go to work every day. I don't go to work. But I am engaging in my community, my melanin community. My, I, I engage with my money, with my time. I just don't want to be a part of a charity that writes checks. I want to be there to help people. And um, when I'm called ugly and I got too much makeup on, see, those things don't help. You know, because I can't get sucked up in that. Apricot seed um, shrinks and removes tumors in the brain and breast. Amen. Uh, this was very informative. You know what? We, we're not going to do this. not going to be our last time um, that we do informative things. Um, I just want to ask y'all to pray um, just as I asked y'all to pray the other day for um, Martel. He's did some crazy stuff, but that man need prayer. Um, he do. Um, I'm coming back today because we're going to talk about um, Winter and Ashley and them. You know I'm going to do it, but I want to tell y'all some good, 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 good news because a story I gave. Hey, Butterfly, congratulations to you. Go, Marcella. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I want to tell you that the six ex-law enforcement officers 
who went into these two black men homes and assaulted them more ways than one. They tortured these two black men. I wanted to tell you that Ryan Young tells, um, I ain't going to read their names because they're not worth that. All of that. We're not going to read their names. We're not going to give them no praise. But I'm going to tell you that these um, Mississippi goon, goons got life imprisonments. Um, a lot of things happened to them. They just didn't get a little slap on the wrist now. They didn't get it. But let me see. Can I play it for you? We're going to wait till the commercial go off. Wait a minute. They were found guilty for assaulting these black men, went into their homes and sexually tortured, beat. The ad is 12 more minutes. Y'all, justice was served. Justice was served. And not only that, they got more time coming. They just didn't get this little time. This was the missing. Six former Mississippi law enforcement officers were sentenced by the state. The officers pleaded guilty to torturing two black men, one of whom was shot in the mouth. They received state sentences ranging from 15 to 45 years. This group of officers, some of whom called themselves the, quote, goon squad, last month, all six were also sentenced to federal prison terms from 10 to 40 years. Let's get to Ryan Young, who's outside this courthouse. Uh, Ryan, you have been covering this story from the very beginning. Walk us through what happened today. Absolutely. Look, we've been watching watching this for over eight months and the victims, everything they've told us so far has played out in court from how they were treated to what happened to them. The fact that they faced torture for some two hours. What we learned here today is this is the first time that Rankin County police officers and uh, county deputies have ever faced charges and were convicted. What we did learn is those state charges will run concurrent with the federal charges. So they didn't get any extra time today. This really sent a clear message. Let's remind our viewers how this started. There was the accusation that these men were dating a white woman and that's why their house was raided. Once the house was raided by the goon squad, the members did everything from waterboarding to spreading chocolate syrup on them. They tried to sexually assault the men. They took tasers and hit them over and over again with the tasers to see which taser was more effective. Then one officer pulled a gun out and shot Michael Jenkins in the mouth. That changed his life, obviously. And if it wasn't for that shot, we probably wouldn't be here today. But listen to Michael Jenkins talk about this day in court. He can't talk. Say Jesus. It's been a long year, man. But it's been a short year. I'm thankful for all y'all. You know, it's uh, been here with us, man, for the ride. All y'all that uh, they helped us, uh, you know, with this fight, man. I, I just want y'all to know, man. It's uh, it touched me in my heart, man, to know that uh, that we uh were listening to. You know, y'all gave us a voice, man. Y'all uh, y'all gave us um, uh, y'all gave us time, man. Y'all gave us a uh, strength, you know. So I appreciate all y'all and um. Today, uh, Rankin County, you know, made a believer out of me, you know, made a believer out of hundreds, I know thousands, maybe millions of people. So um, I'm just thankful, and, uh, you know, that I'm here to uh, see it. And I'm glad, you know, Michael here to see it with me. I'm, you know, priest for my lawyers, you know, fighting for us. I mean, could have did without them. All our family, man, they, they've been riding with us. It's been uh, right. it's been up and down, man, up and down. It's, it's still up and down, man, you know, but uh, still a roller coaster, man. We're going we gonna to ride this thing out, man. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, I think one thing that stands out to me, Rahil, is when he said, thank you for giving us a voice. When we first got the phone call about this story, it was hard to believe the details. And I mean, everything they said after we talked for over a half hour on the phone, it was still hard to believe it. But one after another, the evidence started to come out. And I think one of the things I learned from court is that Daniel Updike, one of the deputies, actually had a text group chat. He's the one who actually turned that information over to the state and the federal authorities. And that sort of started unraveling this whole complex web. Now, the conversation here extends because people want Brian Bailey, the sheriff of Rankin County, to step down. Yes. Uh, that hasn't happened yet. He says he will not step down. He says he had no idea. He tried to hide he was going evidence. On. The Goon Squad members actually had a challenge coin that they would pass out to show that they were members of the Goon Squad. 
the fourth person in charge of criminal investigation in this county was also a member of the goon squad a loud message being sent people here believe this is not over just yet because obviously the federal government is looking into the Rankin County Sheriff's Department there are other victims who are coming forward who say they were terrorized by these same men a lot of questions about what's going on but two judges now let me tell you this is not just happening in Mississippi this happened in Tennessee too yes where the police officer chased a young man down and did things to him. And the chief of police knew about it and he said he not gonna step down. Y'all, it's a time for praying now because it's too much happening. And I'm telling you, if you think that uh, president Trump will make a, a a good president because he been going to Chick-fil-A, giving out milkshakes and all this kind of stuff. Look, Biden is no better. But see, you will see it's not going to, it ain't going to last. Biden ain't going to be there long. Listen to this. Maps show 12 states that allow child marriage. Map shows 12 states that allow child marriage. They're trying to marry our children. You know, that wasn't big, 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 big. Look when it came out. 4924. 4924. In the state of Tennessee, you can sleep with a 12 year old, it will not be considered as rape. You're changing laws in front of our face, and we were in about 11 maritons field. The police worldwide is a main gang, and other gangs follow suit. That's right. Them groups will get what the, yep, amen. The group chats will get you. That's right. I don't get in no group chats. I believe that they've been doing this for years, praying, praying, getting the hammer. To, oh, yes, y'all. Y'all, it's time to pray right now. We got Confederate states. Uh, I, listen, they are making a diagram for Confederate states right now. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. I just don't want to, y'all know, when, whether I'm bad or good, I'm coming with receipts. I just want y'all to know whether I'm doing something bad or good, I'm going to come with receipts. So don't believe me, my lying mouth. Don't believe my lying mouth. Believe what I'm putting out. Hold on. I want to let y'all hear this before we get off y'all. Y'all, let me show y'all this. They got the Confederate states that they done already lined up the other day. They getting them ready. Let me show y'all. I got it. I got it. I got it. Y'all give me one minute. Mm. Y'all. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all this, but I'm I gotta show y'all this first. I got to show y'all. Okay, wait a I'm gonna show y'all something right quick. Please be patient with me. God is not through with me yet. I'm going to go back right here. Let me go back right here and show y'all something. Check this out. This is insane. I hadn't tapped it. I hadn't inserted it. I hadn't swiped it. And then all of a sudden, out comes the receipt. And I said, how did this get paid for? The cashier couldn't explain it. She stood there literally just for a blank. I really thought that the guy ahead of me, that he had been charged. I said, somebody paid for this on a credit card somewhere. Turns out the tap to pay card reader at Safeway had ignored the debit card in Edgar's hand. Instead, it reached into Edgar's back pocket. Oh, that's through crazy. His wallet and charged his Bank of America credit card tucked in socks. That's, that's a pretty big reach. I mean, around me or through me to my wallet. Why did it grab the card that was near it? How did it decide what to grab? 
I was shocked. I was like, well, it can't be. Sonia Cesare <laughs> says it happened at a doctor's office. I went to pay and they said, you're already paid. And I said, I haven't inserted my card. I haven't even taken it out of my wallet. Turns out the card reader there had sent radio waves into her purse and charged her credit card without her knowing it. And that wasn't all. Sonia got an even bigger surprise at a little shop. The woman said, oh my, it's just read three cards. The store's wow. tap to pay system charged not only one, but three credit cards tucked in a wallet inside her purse. I'd say I was two feet away at that point, for sure. Yes, All wow. charges were reversed. Check this out. This is insane. I hadn't tapped it. I had Stop taking these credit cards in the store. People are coming out. Look at the states with the most black folks. Listen to this. States with the most African Americans by percentage. Starting off at number 10, we have Arkansas, with a significant 17.7% .7 of its population being African American. Moving up the list, at number 9, we find Tennessee, where 20.5% of the state's residents identify as African American. Virginia secures the eighth spot with a notable 20.7% of its population being African American. North Carolina takes the seventh position, boasting a diverse population, with 28.4% identifying as African American. Alabama claims the sixth spot, where nearly 30% of the state's residents are of African American descent. South Carolina grabs the fifth position with a substantial 29.9% of African American residents. Maryland secures the fourth spot on our list, with 31.8% of its population identifying as African American. Georgia takes the third position, showcasing a diverse demographic, with 32.7% African American residents. Louisiana claims the second spot, where an impressive 33.3% of the population is of African American descent. And at the top spot, Mississippi leads the way with a significant 38.8% of its residents identifying as African-American states with the most African-American. Let me tell you something about all these states in order. The poorest. The billionaires are buying up the most land in these states. Why do you think they would have did um, Instagram posts like that? Why? They are making sure these people know in clear sight where to buy the front, where to buy the land, what to take over, how many black people are centralized right there in these states. This is, they're taking laws away from black folk. They marking us already. They letting these people know where, who is there, everywhere. See how they labeled it? Afro-American. My descendants are not from Africa. All the states are ran by red. Why is that? Because they know we are kings and queens. They discredit us, and we discredit each other. Okay, listen to this. I'm all over the place, y'all. Listen. You accidentally missed your uh, due date on your credit card or loan, so now your payment is late. That would take 80 to 130 points away, but you learned that any late payments reported on your credit report is illegal. It's illegal. Here you go. And Congress passed a law to protect you from being late. 15 USA 1666B. Wait a minute. 1666BA creditors may not treat a payment on a credit card. And they may not put it on a consumer report plan as late for any purpose. Learn your laws. Look up law 15 USC 16666B 1666 666B 
parentheses A. This is a law, but this a law applies for white people because black people don't know about it. It's 2024 and you need, you need new information and mentorship. It's time to get your business funded and your dreams on acceleration. Y'all don't know that y'all need to go onto your credit report and have those old addresses removed. You ever look on your credit report and it's given all your old addresses? You know why? Because they want to know where you come from. Your financial di uh, demographics. Get all that removed. How? You got to lie, but you got to do it. I never lived there. I don't know why that's on my credit. I never lived over there either. As soon as you start debunking that, they remove it. Watch your credit score move up. Miss uh, Sweet Lady E said when they created the chip on those credit cards, they didn't add the other layer of security on the chip, giving it more assets to get hacked. That chip is not just to your bank account. That chip knows everything about you. Miss Bugs, according to an ancestry, I'm 50% Nigerian. Let me see. <laughs> okay, this is this is my grandmother's. This is my grandmother's, right? I don't know. Because she's she's passed away, but I'm just show y'all. This was my grandmother's. She was 40% European. No engine. Um, no Indian, uh, I know how to play, say that word. In, I know how to say that word, trust me. 58% Sahara American and Asian. My grandmother was Canadian. And my grandfather was Puerto Rican. And this is my daddy. This is my daddy right here, right? light bright man right and they declared my grandfather as being black even though he was full hispanic you know my big mama gave me our history verbally and i administered um i administered accessory.com Facts, I am looking into relocating to the Midwest. My cousin and her husband, spiritually, I feel it's time to get out of the South. Yes, this is information I need for when I come back to the States, New York City. Yep, sickos, right? Facts, they were supposed um, they were supposed to have passed a bill so the banks wouldn't charge the non-sufficient fund fees. No more word on that. Um, guess what? They're still doing that. They're still giving people non-sufficient funds. But this is what is so bad about them not controlling the non-sufficient funds, okay? Eventually, what is being said, they're going to tell you how much of your money you can spend. Have anybody heard that? They're going to start telling us when we, because how we can spend our money. I'm going to tell you something. Instead of pushing your children to college, 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 Push your children to a trade school. Um, you know why? Because a trade school will give them something that they can work with their hands. Um, you want your kids to learn how to work, okay? Uh, I want to tell you this. Wait a minute. You know, I'm, I got so much I'm looking. Um, Michael Jordan, as y'all know, is a... Uh, billionaire he just became a trillionaire now almost a trillionaire so this means michael jordan is a billionaire now almost a trillionaire so this means michael jordan is a billionaire now almost a trillionaire let me explain how that happened let me explain how that happened y'all want me to explain how he was a billionaire and now he's becoming a trillionaire because we was buying his Jordan sneakers. 
he sold us. See, y'all don't see a lot of white people walking around in Jordans, but they glamorize Jordans for us. Oh, Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan didn't stay married and loyal to the black woman he was married to. He had to go on over. Oh, your grandmama was Serena Lillion? Oh, yes. Hey, 6-2 doll. Uh, you favor your hand. Yes. Yes, I favor my dad. Um, trade school is common in Europe. They always have work. Yep. Thank you. Thank you for saying my dad is handsome. My dad's birthday just passed, but he's deceased. I saw a YouTube yesterday where the couple has been um, sending 23 to me DNA samples of their farm animals, and they've been getting reports saying that they are from different countries in Asia and Europe. Ain't that sad? Um, I went to the ATM to make a big withdrawal, and it said it could not process my request, right? You went to the ATM machine. I had to go inside, and they said I have, I had a mask on, and the machine triggered fraud alert. I was like, yeah, right. You're right. Trade schools can help reduce crime. It can, but they're, they're telling you, you got to go to college. No, 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 you don't. I want you to hear this right here too there's a moral issue that needs to be addressed today when in 1946 when the nfl was forced to reintegrate because from 1933 to 1945 the all-white nfl didn't want uh, any blacks in the industry they said the black players were slowing down its growth and then fritz pollard developed the negro football league and after world war ii there was a a, a big push for the negro league to compete with the all-white nfl so what they did was they took the good players from the Negro League and integrated them into the uh, all-white NFL. And now since 1946, the black players have taken it to a billion-dollar-plus market, yet we have no owner within the industry. We are the record breakers and the trendsetters, yet we have no voice within the industry. NFL owners are guaranteed profits annually without even a stand, without even a fan going into the stadium, yet players have no guaranteed contracts. This is plantation capitalism going on right now. This is a this is a moral issue. But let me tell you this. Black people, black players making 30, 40, 50 million dollars a contract will not grab this man's book until they're broke. Okay? Until they are flat broke. Because when they're giving them this 30, 40, 50 million dollars, it's not telling them how to spend this money. It's not telling you, now y'all know my brother played football, right? Do you know that my brother did not get health insurance? When his wife had a baby, he had to pay. He had to pay for the deliveries. It wasn't, you didn't have health insurance. But see, my brother was a smart boy. Let me tell you what he did. My brother would play football, and then to be with his kids, he used to be a crossing guard for the school. Same as Chris Samuels, Monique Samuels' husband, used to coach at the football school near his house. You know why? Because that gave him insurance. All he had to do was go there and he had insurance all years. Nike supports the prison system. They sure do, honey. Trade schools where it's at. That's why they took them out of our community. That's right, Butterfly. They did it on purpose. College is a death trap, a debt trap. Good Hi, Shy Town. Real talk. Davida James. Um, facts, they're going to get him too. No black person in the industry will leave their money or a legacy. I'm going to tell y'all something. I meant to come up here the other night where I learned that when Diddy would have these parties, he would sign, make people sign over that if something happened to him, the NDA came out, then Diddy could sue their families. Now, when I first heard that, I said I wouldn't go to one of his parties if you can have access to my family's money. But you had to sign that over to go into these parties. You know, people say they went, but they didn't stay late. You know, um, what she said, David, okay, what did she say? Exactly. Um, ex uh, exactly. It does not cost much to get a financial advisor. Wait a minute. Woo woo. This is my favorite nephew, Anthony Loftis. Hey. 
Y'all, please go over there, like, and subscribe. He has a special show tonight. You may not want to miss this. 8.30 tonight, Anthony Laptiz will be on his YouTube page. He's returning from coming from hiatus. Really, he was returning because he's been working and having fun. But y'all go over there and check it out. Check his page out. Go like and subscribe. Listen, did y'all know what I tell y'all earlier today? You can rub peppermint oil on your forehead and your temple. A German study found this to be just as effective of 1,000 milligrams of Tylenol for tensions related headaches. If you are having a headache, like I said, rub peppermint oil on your head and your temples and lay down 10 good minutes and it is gone. Hey, Anthony, everybody saying, hey, hello to Anthony, y'all. Y'all listen, y'all support y'all content creators. I tell you, I'm coming back for the messy mess, but I want to tell y'all one more thing before we leave. Here's how you set up a family bank that everyone can benefit from. First, you're going to open up a trust. Make sure to appoint yourself as a trustee so you maintain complete control over the assets. Then have the trust purchase life insurance on all the members of the family. Just make sure it's a policy that can give you strong cash value. Then you can borrow from the trust based on the need for the family. Just make sure the trust is the beneficiary of these life insurance policies so that when someone passes away, the trust can be fully replenished. That keeps the trust from ever being depleted. And here's a visual of what the actual cycle looks like. And this never-ending process can completely change your family's dynamic. Here's how you set up a family. Now, you know what I did when I explained that to my children? I drew the demographics on a piece of paper so they can see it. You know? We're going to do that. I'm going to show y'all a demographic and our example on paper. I found out um, which informant is really behind the Diddy saga. Diddy was also an informant. Hi, Anthony. I'm I'm starting my healthcare management certificate class this fall. She wanted to tell she's starting her management certificate class. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. My thing about to go there. Oh, my God, y'all. My computer about to go there. Hold on. Oh, it said it got 3%, y'all. Hold on, hold on. All right, I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> um, Anthony, um, y'all, he's into fitness. Anthony got that body yada yada anyway, and them nice legs. I'm a CC and will support. Drop his link. Um, his link, I, I can't, I don't know how to drop a link. Um, his name is Anthony Loftes, A N T H O N Y. L-O-F-T-I-E-S. Y'all, you are content creator. Is your page Sophie Sophie? Is your page Sophie Sophia? I'm Davida James. Y'all need to go to her business. Check it out. Uh, also, lavender essential oils can help. Um, um, Y'all got me a brain fight now. Ooh, we, Davida T, also did that. Did you know? Y'all, I'm going to tell you another magic, and y'all might say, ooh, she nasty. Uh-uh, make sure you keep your colon cleaned out. Keep your colon clean, okay? Keep your colon clean. If you have a healthy colon, you will be fine. Okay, this is the last thing I'm going to show y'all before I leave, because I want y'all, I'm going to tell y'all something. Listen very carefully. Um, so has anybody else figured this out? That this April, we have 10 days in a row that are palindrome days. Basically, palindrome. you read the date from front to back or from back to front, it's the same exact numbers. 10 days in a row. Has this ever happened before? Like, this is crazy. And we have a total solar eclipse happening this month. Yeah. This April is wild. This April is wild. And it starts on 420. <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. I want to know. I don't even know. Like, I have to look this up. So have we ever had this many dates, like palindrome dates, in one month? And these are, like, all back to that. From 420 to 429 this year, all the dates are palindrome dates. So if you read it from the beginning, from front to back, and then turn around and read it from back to front, it's the same dates. It's the same thing. The same number. Same number pattern. That's crazy. That's crazy. Does this mean something? Where are my conspiracy theory people at? I need to know. Like, I need to know. Has anybody else picked up on this? Because this is blowing my mind. Um. So has anybody else figured this out? Y'all don't get it? Y'all don't get it. 
Okay, starting 420, it's 42024. Read it backwards. 4224. 2424. 2424. I, I don't get it, but all right now. I, I ain't crazy now. Let me see. I'm going to do another. Oh, listen to this one more time because I love hearing this. Michael Jackson just wakes me the hell up. Look. And Tommy Matola is a devil. I'm not supposed to say what I'm going to say right now, but I, I have to let you in on a secret. Say it. Say it. And please don't videotape what I'm going to say, okay? We want you to videotape. You know what? No, what? I don't mind. Tape it. Mariah Carey, after divorcing Tommy, came to me crying. Crying. She was crying so bad I had to hold her. And she said to me that this is an evil man. And Michael, this man follows me, she said. He taps her phones, and he's very, very evil, and she doesn't trust him. And he is a horrible human being, and we, we have to continue our drive until he's terminated. Who got terminated for that? Who got terminated for those things? Michael Jackson owned half of Sony. They wanted it. He didn't even want to do that last show. He wanted to retire. They wanted Sony back from him. And they took him out. Who's part of Sony? Tony Mentoyla. Uh, they said that Diddy is going to jail. Mm -hmm. Like Maxine Giselle is in jail. Where? Where is... Howard Weinstein. Why wasn't there never a funeral for Jeffrey Epstein? The informant used to be his assistant and PR for Sean John for 11 years. You can imagine what she knows. Mm -hmm. And thank you. Thank you. Thank y'all for being here. It's going to be a lot. So we need to be prayed up. It's going to be a lot. We need to be prayed up. If you a sinner, look, say, Lord, forgive me for my sins that y'all need to be prayed up because um, there's some things going to happen. I love Michael Jackson. Uh, did they ever get... When they killed Michael Jackson, you know that trust I told y'all about? They went after Michael Jackson's mother they've been fighting michael jackson's mother for a very long time and yes the executors took the property from her but this is what happened do y'all see any more chris pratt shows do y'all see any listen to this listen to this from chris pratt you are not going to believe what Hollywood let Chris Pratt say at the MTV Awards. Watch until the end. God is real. God loves you. God wants the best for you. Believe that. I do. Learn to pray. It's easy. And it's so good for your soul. And finally, nobody is perfect. People are going to tell you you're perfect just the way you are. You're not. You are imperfect. You always will be, but there is a powerful force that designed you that way. And if you're willing to accept that, you will have grace. And grace is a gift. And like the freedom that we enjoy in this country, that grace was paid for with somebody else's blood, do not forget it. Don't take it for granted. Be sure to hit that follow or subscribe for daily Christian content. You were. Did y'all hear that? Because all this is happening, Chris Pratt was able to say, God is real, so we can take your eyes off the Illuminati, the wicked, the evil that's been going on all the time. Nisi, speak. Let me go to the bathroom right quick. Okay. Hey, y'all. I just came up to say hello. I came to the party late. 
You know, Marcel will be sneaking up here sometimes and don't call me. I just so happened to come on YouTube to screen record a video. So she was live. Um, but usually, um, when she was talking about the numbers, it, it's usually like a word that reads backwards and forwards the same way. Um, you know, like madam, civic, refer, stuff like that. I mean, it can deal with numbers, but most of the time, um, you know, I've heard it used with words. Y'all, I went to the doctor on Thursday because I had my treatment Tuesday before last. And I was expecting to feel better a couple of days later, but I was still I'm still dragging. So I went to the doctor Thursday and surprise, surprise, I had to get some more steroids. I'm gonna be around here looking like um the Goodyear blimp out the wild. Surprise, Cause, surprise. Uh because I've been getting stuck up with steroids for the last 12 months. But the devil is a lie. I got on that scale and I said, oh, girl, it's time to cut back. But I really don't eat that much. And I think that's part of the problem. You know, you got to feed your body. It's going to hold on to all the fat it can because it thinks it's starving, you know, it's starving or whatever. But anyway, I got the steroid injection Thursday and I'm starting to feel a little bit better today finally thank god because i got to get out there in my greenhouse and um get um you know everything out of there so i can start my planning for this season i've been i, I was supposed to be in store march first y'all because i got a greenhouse um and i just haven't been feeling like it so i feel like i'm starting to turn a corner today and, um, you know, I hate to complain, y'all. I try to show up with a smile. Um, but, you know, I've just been having a tough time this year. But we're we going to get better. And I'm, and I'm looking to God for him to, you know, put a little grace my way. Because, huh, T, these last 12 months have been rough. Mm -hmm. I had to finally, oh, I forgot to tell y'all, finally um, got rid of Blue Cross and Blue Shield. So I got just Humana now, and they've been terrific about paying for my infusions. Yeah. On my last doctor bill, y'all, from, from the infusion I just had, how about that thing said $13,000? That's $13,000 every six weeks. Yeah, and medicine shouldn't cost that much, right? And Nisi been on the phone with me with my husband. It's just, and it's expensive. Thank God we have insurance. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm you know, when I had Blue Cross and Blue Shield, them and Humana were always fighting about who's gonna pay what and when and where. Um. But I'm looking forward to my 50th birthday. I plan on cutting a leg in Vegas. You know what I'm saying? So I need for my body to cooperate. You know what I'm saying? I need to get a few pounds off so I won't be looking like a butterball turkey. Yeah, I'm going to talk about Miss Wanda with that Vegas trip. Miss Miss Wanda told me, I ain't going to tell y'all. Miss Wanda told me about a hotel that she was staying in. I've already paid for my room. It was pricey. And now she told me, Everybody that's gone with us cannot pay for that hotel, and they go into another hotel. And I said, I'm keeping, I'm staying where I'm at. Well, I might say there then. <laughs> I'm, 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 
I know. I got every everything in my hotel, everything where I wouldn't even have to go out. I can go see shows in my hotel, everything I want. And I can go just downstairs. I'm not going away. I don't think so. But y'all, I want to ask all y'all, I ask y'all to pray for certain things. And I want to do a prayer for y'all right now, right quick. Hope y'all don't get mad. The ones that don't can like I answer the needles question. Yeah. I have rheumatoid arthritis and sarcoidosis. So that's what I um I take Remicade um every six weeks in an infusion. It takes about three and a half to four hours for it to go in. And um I take methotrexate, which is a chemotherapy drug. I get injected with that once a week. You know, my husband usually do it for me or I do it on myself. And um those are my treatments. I'm also on like an anti-inflammatory type thing. Um, so I'm looking into trying to get into a more anti-inflammatory diet, y'all. It's hard when you don't feel good. You don't want to get up and cook. Um, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, y'all. And then cooking. You're trying to be funny because somebody in there cooking for me right now. You're trying to be funny. Mm -hmm. Baby, I don't know how I feel about another uh, woman coming up in here and cooking for my man, but sometimes I'd be like, ooh, baby, maybe I need a shelf and a maid, baby, because these days at her rough. that way. I, I look at her as her cooking for us and everybody because I can't mm -hmm. cook. That's no, how I, I look at it as you cooking for my man, baby. Uh -uh. That's something about that don't sit right in my spirit. Okay. okay. All right, let so me pray. pray my All right, I'm I'm great to pray. Dear Lord, thank you for this day and for keeping all of us safe through the night. I commit this day to you, Lord. Please fill me with joy, peace, knowledge to help others, to help myself. Lord, help me with being so anxious, Lord, for nothing. Please lead and guide all of us, Lord, and use me to be a source of encouragement, a source of reliability, a source of knowledge to share with my people, Lord God. Open our minds and make our lives better, Lord God. Cover us in these days, Lord God. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And I mean it. I mean my prayer when I pray. I don't just pray for myself. I pray for everybody. I am an anxious person. Nisi will tell y'all. I am. I may look like I'm together, but I am an anxious person, and I do make sure that I keep. I pray before I do anything. Even when I'm coming up here to fry somebody and lay them to the side, I pray that God touch my tongue. I really do, because I had to get a blood transfusion, iron infusions back when I was a meat eater since June 2023, going back to vegan and plant-based. My periods are normal and no longer um, cramping. I might have to, because, she you said, know. Watermelon, uh, seeded watermelon for seven days, nothing but that. Glad you're managing, Nisi. I have two autoimmunes, too. It's been rough since November. The hinky weather we've been having haven't been friendly. Now, Nisi won't go outside. I'm sensitive to changes in the barometric pressure. Baby, whenever I tell you, I can tell whenever it's going to be a thunderstorm, anything. Like It's like my whole body changes. It's crazy how your body reacts to nature and stuff like that another thing that was helping me um was grounding going outside barefoot you know because god really didn't intend on us wearing shoes so you really need to go outside sometimes in a clean area be in the grass and connect with nature um those things really help me so that's what making me want to get back you know the garden and stuff like that uh -huh. Ooh, baby this right here like i i and like marvel just said meat honey they 3d printing this meat and stuff like that i i mm, i love me some chicken but Mm. I wish I could have some chickens in my backyard, but I can't because I'm in the city. 
because I sure would have bought me some. Well, I want to tell y'all one more thing, then I'm up out of here. I'll be back here at, I'm going to try to come back here at um, 5.30 um, to talk to y'all a little bit more about um, Fallon said that when she see Portia, it's going to be on site. Now, somebody need to tell Fallon, baby, you don't Portia want nothing. Gonna drag her. And then um, I want to come back up here and tell y'all about Winter. She's been on three separate interviews. In case y'all miss it, go to our community page and look at these interviews Winter's been going around talking about. They Look, they're coming together from different franchises trying to take Carlos out of here, okay? But, you know, Carlos got prayer on his hand. But I want to let y'all hear this, and I'm, and I'm going to tell you, Donald Trump. Listen. We'll take control of all things. Wait a minute. And we'll, the Bible clearly reveals to us that there will be a man who will take control of all things and will govern the world like no other leader in the history of humanity has been able to do. This man will be charismatic and will have a speech that will conquer everyone. His power of persuasion will convince the inhabitants of the earth that in his hands, all the problems of the nations will finally be solved. The truth is that the world has never seen anyone as powerful, influential, and intelligent as this man. And this will happen for one reason only, because he will have in his hands the power that comes directly from the enemy of our souls, Satan. And the question that remains is when will the Antichrist come to earth? Has he already been born? Is he just waiting for the fulfillment of biblical prophecies to be announced as the one who will save the world? It will prove to you that the Antichrist is already here, acting without any of us realizing it. The New Testament tells us that Satan tempted Jesus three times while the Lord was fasting in the desert, preparing to take on his ministry here on earth. Notice one thing in these three situations. In all of them, Satan offered good things to Jesus, but in return, he wanted worship and disobedience to the word of God. And that is exactly the same thing he does with all of us today. The devil offers us everything that is good and pleasing to our carnal eyes, but in return, he wants us to stop praying and seeking God. And that is exactly what the Antichrist will want the world to do after he is announced to all the inhabitants of the earth. The Antichrist has not yet been announced, but he is already sitting on the hearts of human beings, controlling them and proclaiming himself as the God of their lives. Many people still see the coming of the Antichrist as a future thing, but no, he is already among us. Just look at the world around us, at the things that have been happening. To realize that he is already dominating the human heart and secretly installing his throne in it. And it is not me who is saying this but the Bible itself. Pay attention to what the Apostle John wrote. This is how you can recognize the Spirit of God. Every spirit that acknowledges that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God, but every spirit that does not acknowledge Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard is coming and even now is already in the world. So the advice I give you is not to wait for the construction of the third temple in Jerusalem or for the announcement of the peace agreement between the major nations and religions. Instead, watch out so that you do not give space to the enemy in your life. Do not allow the spirit of the Antichrist to dominate your heart and make it his temple. Rather, you need to give your heart and life to Jesus Christ, because only he has the power to destroy the enemy. Amen. The Bible... Y'all, I know I be acting crazy sometimes, but Jesus is precious, y'all. It's so much things happening around us. We see it. We're losing so many good people. They're getting ready to wipe out hip hop the best way they can. Um, they are doing a lot of things. And I'm telling you, we in Revelation times. Yes, we are, Comment Apple. I'm going to tell you that Black Rock there were years and years and years nobody heard the name black rock and now mm -hmm. we're hearing of him war we have billionaires are setting in place to take everything we got mm -hmm. i'm telling you they might take your house they might take everything you got but they can't take your soul you right. need to 
soul to God. And you need to pray. You need to repent. You need to, we're not going to be perfect. And I am an imperfect person. We're not, but we can learn how to manage what we have. You don't have to be rich. If you have Jesus, you already rich. They can't name it as millionaire, billionaire, trillionaire. You're rich because you have the code. You are black. Yeah. Jesus was not a white man. They they coming out saying it. He was never supposed to say it. Putin was never supposed to tell us. We have to get our lives together. Pick up this book right here. The most important book. Read. What's happening today is in the pages of these books. It's here in John. It's in Revelation. It's in Psalms. It's in Proverbs. Read your Bibles. And y'all remember in a few weeks, um, all these cicadas is going to be hatching. So they said it's going to be millions and millions and millions of cicadas here in America in a few weeks, y'all. So don't be surprised when you see all these bugs everywhere um, because they're going to be hatching. You know, they hatch, I think, like once every, what, 17 years or something like that. Mm -hmm. And so this year's the year. Be careful, y'all. Be careful. All right, let me go and do what I need to do. What time is it right now? It is 3.50. What I really came up here for... I wanted to know, did you want to debut your um, new um, jingle? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nisi got a treat. Now, this is going to be my first time hearing um, my new intro. So, Nisi is going to play the intro. I'm going to go down, and I'm going to watch it. Okay, Nisi? All right. Okay, y'all, if y'all need um, a jingle, you can go over. I love it. I love it. I love it. And guess what? Nisi did them AI pictures. The <laughs> AI, Nisi be wait, 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 wait. Let me give credit where credit is due, y'all. Um, e. Nicole, E. Sessions made um, this intro um, to go with the jingle because y'all know she could do jingles. Intros, outros, anything you need media wise, she did it. Um, but I do have a surprise for you because I wanted to use your AI pictures in one. So let me play this one. Okay. okay. Let me go down.
I love it. <laughs> <laughs> All That's right, so, Nisi, can you set me a show up for five thirty? I'm gonna come back up and talk about winter and um, no, I can set it up and you just um, I I don't know. No, I will set it up. But y'all, I, I, Nisi, I've been going through so many changes for so many years with lupus. It's an autoimmune immune deficiency disease that's difficult to diagnose or treat. But God, he is that alpha and omega. He's the beginning. Yes, of the end. And it is going to be good for you. Y'all, I promise you I'm coming back at 530 because we're going to talk about Miss Winter Winter. We're going to talk about Carlos King. And I'm getting ready to. Uh, do the um thing for it right now. I'm gonna come back at 5 30. I got something to do right quick. Um, Nisi, you're on top of the line with your creativity. The e. Nicole did this, y'all. The e. Nicole. the e. Nicole did the first one. Oh, she and sang, she's the one singing. She, on. mm -hmm. And then the second one I did with some pictures I created of Marcella. So I want y'all to go and patron E. Nicole. She's very, very good. I'm yeah. not even, I, I'm not as good as she is. Um, but she made some excellent work. She can work with any concept. I seen on one where she actually got um two ladies and like they're in teacups, y'all. It is crazy. They're actually in teacups. <laughs> <laughs> so she is very creative with this type of thing. I can do the more simple things with the words and the AI pictures, but for something that's gonna be more than that, y'all need to get over eating the code. Um Auntie M says she needs a um jingle. Gotta okay. go. I see y'all at 5 30. Y'all come back and join me. Um, Nisi, I'm. Can you do the branding, but don't go nowhere because I I got some messages up here. On it says enter your password for Marcelo speaks. I don't know if that's showing up on yours. Okay. All right. Both are nice, y'all. I see you at five thirty. It's gonna be Love and Marriage Huntsville. Catch up. I see y'all. All right. Bye, y'all. Bye. <laughs>